CR on this uh, property. We've got new fuse boards going in. So uh, yeah, and do uh, some of the checks on the, on the circuits and R1 and R2, a ZEV. Okay, we're just on site. We're doing a pre EICR on this uh, property. We've got new fuse boards going in. So, uh, yeah, we're doing some pre EICR. Hey, AZS reading on some of the lighting circuits. Further one away. I'm switching the switch on now. That's going to power up the circuit. And we've got a ZS reading of 1.15. One point one five. The important thing now is to take them off live, neutral, and off. No, cool. it's fell off. <laughs> yeah, so that's ZS reading on the furthest point. And do uh, some of the checks on the on the circuits and R one and R two. A ZE reading. And uh, yeah, I'll show you the board that we're going to change the, and we're going to put in a Wilex two pole isolator, which just makes things really convenient for the future. This is the board change we're going to do. So we're going to change this bad boy. We've got our earthing system. Is what Russ. TNS. TNS. We're the really old plastic consumer unit here, which has only got one side of the RCD protected, which is on the sockets, but nothing on the lighting or bell or heating. So we're going to take that up to a 17th edition. This is of this is of June 2018, so it's still 17th edition stuff. But what we're going to do is put in here, which is a really nice idea, is the Wirelex two pole isolator, which we'll show you that bad boy now. It is good. So we're going to put in this Wirelex tube pole isolator, which is just really convenient for future proofing the uh, system. It's just nice to actually, yeah, there you go. You see on the inside. And that's it. So that's actually going to sit now, uh, replacing these handy blocks. That'd be a nice upgrade. Pretty much we're at the board, so uh, we're going to deload this board now and actually get some readings for uh, spectral folk current. We're going to do a ZE. So uh, yeah. Let's go for it. So we're going to deload the board. I always remember to tell the, the customer as well. The yeah. Power going off. Yeah. Now with the RCD ones, always make sure you deload the RCD before you turn the RCD off. That's it. It's the main switch off. So we've got our basically got our multifunction tester here. This is using this time a QTEC KT64DL. Not a bad little tester. So what we're trying to get uh, readings of is our ex uh, called ZE or external fault loop path back to the Delta Star transformer. And back to this installation. Now being on a TNS system. It needs to be less than Looking for that sort of reading on our uh, ZE. We're going to carry out some safe isolation on this uh, scenario, make sure our side of the board is dead at least. So, onto the proving unit with our GS38 approved voltage detector, make sure that works. Onto the our side of the uh, tails, we're going to go neutral and line, neutral and earth, earth and line, and then back to the proving unit. Cool, fantastic, we're happy that our side of the board is dead. Remembering of course always the incoming side of the board at this point is still alive, so uh, just taking care of that. Fault current that will uh, flow. In the event of a fault, we want to know. This is just a, this is actually a three lead tester, so we're going to put it on. There we go. We've got to put it on. We're putting it on this one on the uh, perspective line in neutral and perspective earth fault line PE. So we're doing perspective short circuit current. So what we're going to do first is get our main clamp on the earth MET DBMET. Putting on neutral on first on the incoming tails, 
and the line on the incoming tells us it's alive so we should start getting a reading of 242 volt 50 hertz so we can see this thing and then we're going to push the test button it's measuring it takes a little while but actually it's pretty quick we've got 2.23 ka perspective short circuit current we can now take it over to perspective air felt current and we're going to get another test externally and back to this we've got 1694 amp it's the highest reading that record that we record on the schedule of test results which on our case would be 2.23 2.23 ka okay, so i've just had a trip just come down to uh screw fix <laughs> Okay, we picked up our uh, breaker, our free cake, our free football. Then we just need some substance for lunch.